Our countdown is three teams into the top 10. Now let's get you to number seven, and we're headed to Music City. The Nashville Predators, they have a number of talented prospects, and one of them is that goalie with the outstanding mustache. The era of the Russian goalie continues with Yaroslav Askarov, who played a ton of minutes in the AHL, making quick progression, and played one game in the NHL. Just a rookie in the A, and he made a strong impression as we start to talk about the Predators. Evangelista, Sam, got your attention why? He sure did. You go back to his uh, last season with the London Knights, and it was really a progression. When he started there at 16 years old, there was a guy who Dale Hunter leaned on to play the PK, to play responsibly before he got his cookies to be able to play on the power play. A couple of years later, he's a 55-goal guy for those London Knights. He goes and has one good year in uh, the American League after getting into some games at the end of one year, 14, I believe, then comes back and has a full year in the American League, and they're like, you know what? This guy's pretty good. I remember in a mock draft in 2020, I had him going at the end of the first round. He ended up going 42nd. I thought, wow, this is going to be a steal for Nashville. But in his time with the Predators last year, 15 points, 24 games, amazing stuff. A really good shooter, a responsible player who can play up and down your lineup. And I think that's what makes him such a, a valuable prospect. The fact that he's got that defensive foundation in place going back to his days in junior. And now we're starting to see that great goal scoring ability that progressed throughout his time in junior. I think you're seeing a progression through junior and now we're seeing it through the National Hockey League on parallel lines. Joachim Kemmel is another guy that we saw on that graphic who I think if you're a Nashville Predators fan you should be pretty excited about the way that this guy finished last season and also what may be to come for him in the future. It didn't have a great start to the year in, in Liga but comes over to the AHL. He's almost a point a game for Milwaukee and then lights it up in the postseason. Eight goals in 14 games is a big time shot. We see him here at the draft. I think the Preds when they went up to make pick 17 and he was on the board we're probably like are you kidding me we're gonna get this guy at 17 feeling real good about that so um, like I said he had a really good American League playoffs scoring a ton of goals big one timer from the left circle another guy on a team that's got some obviously good players given where we rank them here in their pipeline that Preds fans should be keeping an eye on for maybe having a, an explosive year building off what he did last season.